الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلیٰ علیہ وصحبی وسلم اما بعد احب تفلا کنٹینیوئنگ آن آر اسٹڈی آف دی بیسک فق لیسنس ور اسٹل ان تہار ان پیوریفیکیشن اینڈ ور ڈسکس ان دا ولو اینڈ ان دس شارٹ لیسن وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا سن ریگارڈنگ ولو میننگ دیز آر دا ریکمینڈیڈ ایکٹس آف ولو So a sunnah action is what the Prophet ﷺ practiced and which Muslims are encouraged to fall, meaning it's not an obligation. Uh, however, they gain additional reward for practicing this. Uh, the first sunnah of wudu uh, is using the miswak before wudu. And the Prophet ﷺ said, لَوْلَا أَنَ شُقَّ عَلَى أُمِّتِي لِمَرْتُهُمْ بِسَوَاكْ إِن دَكُلِّ وُضُوْ Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, had it not been for the fact that I would overburden my ummah, I would have ordered them to use the siwak as I ordered them to perform wudu. And this is uh, sound in the silsila as-sahiha by Imam al-Albani who graded it sahih. Rahimahullah ta'ala. Rahmatullahi The Prophet ﷺ said, the siwak purifies the mouth and pleases the Lord. I mean, pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is in Tirmidhi. So, miswak, it purifies the mouth, and it pleases Allah azza wa jal. So, this will make you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is a recommended sunnah act is to use the wudu, uh, use the miswak during, uh, when, you're, when you make wudu. The second sunnah action is beginning by washing the hands three times, then by rinsing out the mouth and nose three times. So, doing these actions three times. Aus al-Thaqafi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said, I saw the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam making wudu and he washed his hands three times before commencing the wudu. So actually this uh, three times is referring to cleaning your hands before you make wudu because that initial washing of the hands is not actually, uh, it's not a part of the obligatory acts of the wudu. But this is just, uh, it's sunnah and it's ajr. And, and it's from cleanliness before you begin to use water and put it in your nose, in your mouth. The third sunnah act of wudu is washing the face three times and for men rubbing water into the beard. Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu said the Prophet sallallahu used to rub water into his beard and this is collected in Tirmidhi. So again, washing three times is sunnah in the wudu. It's not an obligation. So meaning you get extra reward for washing three times, but it, it would be sufficient if you only washed once. All of these, the limbs for wudu, if you did it once, this is sufficient. This is, makes your prayer valid, your wudu valid. The fourth sunnah, meaning recommended action of wudu, is washing between the toes and fingers. This is sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ said, if you make wudu, wash between your toes and fingers. And this is uh, Ruahu Tirmidhi. This is collected in Tirmidhi. So being very thorough and cleaning between the toes and the fingers is also a sunnah. However, you do want to make sure water in general should be uh, uh, going in between your toes and washing your, your, your limbs completely. The fifth uh, sunnah is washing the wudu parts three times. As we said, one should not exceed this limit. The Prophet ﷺ said, this is the wudu. Whoever exceeds therein would certainly have done wrong, exceeded the limits, and transgressed. So it's actually sinful to wash more than the three times, more than what is sunnah. So we want to be cautious of falling into bid'ah. The sixth uh, sunnah of wudu is tayammum, starting with the uh, tayammun, sorry, tayammun, uh, starting with the right side first. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do this and he said, if you put on your clothes or make wudu, start with the right side. And this is uh, Sunan Abi Dawood. And in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, which is in Bukhari and Muslim, qalat, kanan Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yu'ajibuhu ittayyammunu fi tanu'ulihi wa turujulihi wa tuhurihi wa fi sha'nihi kulli. Uh, in Bukhari and Muslim, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the mes- uh, she said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa used to uh, start with the right uh, in putting on his sandals, in combing his hair, 
and you, you know, using his right hand to comb his hair, and for clean and for cleanliness, and for all of his affairs, meaning all of his uh, the affairs dealing with cleanliness and good things, and of course using the left for the things which are, uh, you know, for removing filth and, and so forth. So this is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also, from the Sunnah of Wudu is saying the testimony of faith, making the Shahada. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu an Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I testify that there is no God except Allah worthy of worship, and I testify that Muhammad وسلم, is a slave and messenger. The eighth sunnah of wudu is a Muslim should not waste water when making wudu, so israf. The Prophet وسلم, said, do not waste water, even if you're using it from a running river. SubhanAllah. And this is in Sunan Abi Dawood. So these are from the sunnahs of wudu, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.